Hello everyone and welcome to the first video tutorial on my channel where today I'm going to be showing you how to get hot swapping working for your Minecraft plugin development environment. Now if you don't know what hot swapping is, hot swapping is essentially a way to update your code at runtime, uh, which means you can update any changes you make without having to, you know, restart the server or, or anything like that. It is probably the most efficient and quickest way to write code so i really suggest you using this method to write your code okay so i've literally just made a, a blank project as you can see there's nothing in here uh, i'm just going to start by putting my uh plugins repositories and dependencies that i would use like a normal plugin okay so i literally have the bare bones essentials for a minecraft plugin i have um paperweight which is for the paper api uh, you don't have to use it, but I highly suggest using Paperweight um, and, of course, Shadow Jar to minimize dependencies as well. Uh, so I'm going to delete the Java because I'm using Kotlin, although this will work with Java as well. So I'm just going to make my Java plugin class. Ah, and also I need to make my plugin.yml as well. Uh, and I'm also just going to register LAMP, which is my command framework that I like to use. Okay, so now I have a plugin that will work. It won't do anything, but it will work. As you can see, we've got a plugin.yml, got a build.gradle, and we've got our example plugin. So actually, I'm just gonna make a command to test. I'm gonna make a launch command, uh, which will just launch the player. Uh, just, you know, very, very simple stuff. Uh, let's just launch, I don't know, five, I guess, in the x-axis. Uh, and then we'll send a message as well. Command to test. You have been launched. Uh, name text color dot. Let's do aqua, I guess. Uh, and then we just need to do lamp dot register. Uh, example command. Great. So usually, like any other plugin, what you would do is you would have a clean build or, you know, whatever, and that would just build a jar in your plugin. But I'm going to be showing you how to use the run paper plugin, which essentially runs your own server in the IDE. So to get the plugin started, uh, you want to put in your plugins, in your build.gradle, you want to put the run paper plugin. So once you've got the plugin, simply just reload your Gradle. And then there is one more thing we need to edit. In your tasks, you need a run server. And this is where you specify the Minecraft version and any other plugins that you want to use. Uh, so I want to use 1.21.1, so 1.21.1. And download plugins, I don't want any, so I'm just gonna leave this blank. And we can just reload and it'll be good to go. So now it's reloaded. If we open up our Gradle on the side here, and we go into tasks, you can see there's run paper and there's run server. You just want to click run server. Uh, and as you can see, it's starting to download the jars you need just to run a Minecraft server. It does it all for you. You don't have to worry about it. I'm pretty sure you can specify a server jar already if you want to, but because mine is unspecified, it's just going to download one. Right, and there we go. As you can see, um, it just says you need to agree to the EULA because we need to agree to the EULA. So you can find the EULA here, we're just going to set this to true, and then we can just run server again. Uh, and once you've agreed to the EULA, you can see it is literally just the, you know, console output of any other Minecraft server. So to connect to the server, there's multiple different ways you can do that. Uh, you can connect using either localhost or zero or, you know, 127.0.0.1. I just put zero in here because, you know, it's easier for me. Uh, and as you can see, we are on a locally hosted Minecraft server running from our IDE. So you can run commands in here as well, like I've made myself an operator. So there we go. And if I do slash plugins, you can see my example plugin is on the server just like that. Uh, and just to test, uh, if we do slash launch, oops, as you can see, it will launch us into the air very high. I might actually, uh, I might actually lower that. Um, and it just says, you have been launched. So, you know, very, very simple stuff. Um, you know, you should understand everything so far. 
So, now, how do you get hot swapping enabled on your Minecraft server? So, it's a very, very simple change to your build.gradle. Uh, essentially, what you want to do is you want to copy and paste this block of code. And essentially, what this does is it just sets it to a JetBrains version of the JRE, which has, you know, more... It has more support for hot swapping. So after you've got this in here, you should just be good to reload. And now once that's in there and it's reloaded, instead of running your server using the run button on this task, you want to click debug, uh, which will start the debugger, which is how you get hot swapping enabled. Uh, and as you can see, it will just run the server like normal and you can connect to it like normal. And as you can see, the server is continuing to work just fine. It's only this time we're in the debug section instead of the run section. Uh, and you can see the command is, you know, still working absolutely fine. Okay, that's all well and good, but what if we wanted to change our command? So I'm just going to create a method which will get me a new power based on the double in the command. Uh, let's just do, I don't know, two times power and then round to int because it needs to be an int. And then in here, we'll just do get power, power. And... I guess we can put it in the message with power, power, and we'll make it red as well. Why not? So as you can see, we've got a new method. We've changed the message. And if we just press this code changed here, and just give it a second, as you can see, code has been reloaded. If we go on to our server now, do 1.0, as you can see, you've been launched with power 1.0. And if we increase this to like 10, as you can see, we go much higher. So this code is working and we didn't have to restart. We didn't have to do anything. It's all just updated. Like if I wanted to make this yellow, could have been re reloaded. And there we go, it's yellow now. Um, I don't know, let's say that, you know, if we wanted to, you know, add an item stack of diamond sword Material dot or diamond axe, for example. Let's say we wanted to give them a diamond axe. Again, we can hot swap the code just by pressing that one button. And then when we do it, we get a diamond axe as well. And it just all works. And it makes writing code and debugging so much more efficient. And that's it. You're pretty much set for hot swapping in your development. Now, it goes without saying there are some limitations to this. If, for example, you have a command, uh, you can see that I'm registering it in on enable. If you need anything changed in the on enable, you will have to restart the server. Uh, and there may be a few other limitations, but it is a lot more powerful than other methods that people may have done. And yeah, that, that's it really. This was just a very quick video to help you get it all set up and, and working. If you have any problems with this, leave a comment and I'll try to respond. Otherwise, I've left a Discord server in the description which you can join for support with any and all Minecraft plugin development related questions. So yeah, that's it from me and good luck.